in the kitchen on this Christmas Eve morning. We have TV maitre d' Joe Zito and Chef John Granada. The boys are back. Did you miss us? I look forward to this every single year. We are going to be cooking up a storm, whether you need something for today, tonight, tomorrow. New Year's Eve. There you go. It'll oh. bring you through all of the Fantastic. holidays. Fantastic. What are we making first? Save the date. It's Save Christmas Eve. Date. I like that. All right, we're going to take some dates. Mm -hmm. These are medjool dates. Which, Those are the uh, big guys. These are the big ones. Mm -hmm. big, big and meaty. Best of the best. They are. They're so tasty. Now we're going to stuff them with some gorgonzola cheese. We're mm -hmm. going to wrap them with applewood smoked bacon. Okay. You can either stick a toothpick in them, or if you don't want to, that's fine too, because if you put the fold side down, you'll be fine. It'll kind of make its own seal yeah. on the pan yeah. there. Basically, I just want to show you that you just put a quick slit with the knife. Because there's right? a pit in there. And if you mm -hmm. squeeze it. Very important that people know that. If you mm -hmm. squeeze it, that pit will come right out. Right? So it leaves a little pocket. Yeah. Right? To fill with whatever you'd like. Yeah, anything. Yeah, really. Uh, you're going to stuff the cheese right in there. Mm-hmm. And then you're just going to take, I like to take the, the bacon and cook it halfway through. Because, oh, that's a good yeah, tip. Yeah, because if not, you know, you're going to, it they'll burn, you yeah. know. Yeah. And sometimes then it makes a lot of grease. Absolutely. Yeah, and exactly. so simple, so delicious. Look so at this. Look. That's I like it. like that. And then throw them on a pan. Time and temperature. What are we, what are we talking about? So I usually, usually go about 425 for about mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Ooh, and so nice and hot. Yeah. And Joe, I'll show you the final product. I mean, this, you can make as many as you want. Mm-hmm. Um, they're definitely a crowd pleaser. They really are. Right. I know they're a crowd pleaser in the Roadshow Kitchen as well. Right. I mean, this is a favorite, something that we look forward to every year. And I love how we're starting off our cooking this morning with these. This is probably how you would maybe start your eating. Right, sure. Good, it's a, it's a good a, appetizer. Yeah, it's an and absolutely. And, you know, you start your party, people, guests are coming, something like this passed around, and mm -hmm. probably a little Prosecco because it goes with everything. Bubbles are great with right? everything. Oh, bubbles are good. The bacon is calling my name. We're going to dive into this. Uh, we have three three more delicious dishes coming up, so stick around. And we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. I can't tell you how happy we are to see Joe and John We're together. happy to be here, it's man. It's no joke. We yeah. love these guys. Hi. And we're just really, really happy that they're here today. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, too, sir. Nice to see you. Another beautiful nice to, dish. Nice to see you, too. Same here, my friend. And another beautiful dish the chef has. This yep. is the fantastic for your party. We're going to get right to it. Shrimp Santiago. Okay, oh, so this is, a, this is a, another fairly simple, but it's, a, it's something you got to be careful while you're making it. We're going to start with some uh, nice big shrimp. I usually use about U, the U10 Mexican whites. Mm -hmm. um, Prosciutto di Parma. We're gonna set up some baby spinach with some pignoli nuts. We're gonna finish with Sambuca and uh, a little bit of butter. And just it's a basically dash. it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Let's start with some, yeah, but what the, what the chef was saying was when the element of the Sambuca well, is introduced right, here. Right, right, I'm getting out of the way. The hot <laughs> I know what's pan, gonna happen. With the hot pan, you really have to know what you're doing. Right. And as I've been telling you since the first day we met, yes. it's my culinary trick. You can't cook something like this unless you have clothes on. Right, right. well, that's so true. So make sure you I'm, have clothes on. I'm, I know you. I'm getting, I'm backing you. I don't have uh, luxurious hair like you do. No, so you know. Me, I'm fine. Few do, but, but that's, <laughs> you know, there. The fact of the matter is, if you don't have any clothes, this is... Right. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, ah. You know, things, are, gonna, things are on fire. Exactly. Yeah. Very unforgiving. Yes. All right, you hit a sizzle. All right. a sizzle on those. So what you're going to look for here is you're going to get a little brown on both sides. Mm -hmm. Now, what's going to happen is Sambuca is a lot of sugar in Sambuca. And it's going to carry a lot of heat when it starts to reduce. So it's going to candy. And I'm going to show you the difference between when it's done and when it's not done. Because you, what you want this to look like is almost like a caramel. Okay. All right? Yep. So quickly they brown. The shrimp itself doesn't take very long at all. Well, the interior pot is going to cook with the residual heat from the Sambuca. Got because it. it's, it's so intense. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to let that brown for a second, and here's the thing. When you do this, get away from the heat. You're not in a kitchen, a professional kitchen. Got it. All right? So you're going to take it off the fire. All right? You're going to add that Sambuca. Stand over here with Joe. <laughs> sure. I know where to go. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to add the butter because that's going to stop some of the explosion. Okay. Should we right. turn the fan on for this? Nah, I don't worry about it. Famous last All right, Joe. We work without a net. <laughs> Right, so that's so. going to reduce a little bit. Yep. So you see that we uh, we saved your life. Got it. And what's going to happen now is these bubbles are going to get tiny. And you'll see the difference. Okay, I can see it going now. So what I like to do is I like to keep the, sh the, the spinach raw. 
because again that heat's going to cook that spinach we call it wilted right so same thing with the pine nuts so we're going to spread all over the it's beautiful flavors in this, and just that hint of sambuca. Right, right. Oh, this does take a couple of minutes. Okay, so we'll we'll let this go, and we will show you the finish at the end of everything. Um, we'll put this together, and also ask these guys. You know, we, we've got a couple of more um, recipes that we're going to put together as well in just a little bit. Back to you. We are back in the Roto Kitchen this morning with Joe and John, and ooh, burrata cheese. Yeah, Yum! There you if go. you haven't had it, it's so it's just so soft and gooey and nice and right. delicious. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. So I'm getting hungry. Right. If people don't know what burrata is, burrata, which I don't know how you would know at this point, but uh, fresh mozzarella. Mm -hmm. They take the fresh mozzarella and they stretch it out and they stuff it with the curds and a little bit of cream and then they fold it back over. Mm -hmm. So when you cut into it, it's incredibly creamy. It's kind of like breaking a yolk of an it's, egg, right? It's, right. it's, it's totally right. like a, a little dessert surprise in, in itself. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to make a mostada to go with that. Now what mostada, is mostada? mostada is a lot like, like, let's figure like in this case a cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. But mostada in Italy is used to accompany a lot of like boiled meats, grilled meats, things like that. Okay. Uh, a variation of different fruits are used. But this time of year, because you know we're at the holiday season, we're going to use cranberries. Mm -hmm. And this could be subbed for uh, your turkey if you want or things yeah. like that. Good little but in this case, this is going to be an appetizer. Yum. So we have uh, fresh cranberries. Perfect. We're going to put them in the pan. About a cup of orange juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They compliment one another. About a cup of again. sugar, because you know, uh, although, are tart. although you like, I like to snack on them just like right. as is. But yeah, <laughs> pinch of pinch of salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange zest in there. Mm -hmm. Some fresh thyme. Nice. See all the nice flavors in here. Yeah, you can hear and it go. looks Christmassy too. Oh, it's Here's the thing. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of mustard seed. Huh. You wouldn't think so, huh? And Dijon mustard, okay. which has white wine in it. If I wasn't using Dijon, and let's say we were going to use a spicy brown mustard mm -hmm. or we were going to use a Chinese hot mustard even to yeah. give it a zip, then we would add a little bit of white wine. Speaking of white wine, yeah. you know, well, listen, we saw the shrimp Santiago, how beautiful that was. This yep. is one of my favorite wines. It happens to be a fabulous gift wine. It's in the $22 to $24 range where you'll see it. Mm -hmm. And when you give nice this, gift. this is Sonoma Coutre Russian River Ranches Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. And it is absolutely an elegant white wine. You can never go wrong. And it's a wine that shows you a very good taste. You yep. bring this to someone's home, you're not breaking your personal bank mm -hmm. and you're giving him something really nice and this will go beautifully with the mustada okay. go be beautifully with of course the shrimp Santiago but mm -hmm. it's just nice to walk around the party and have this in your yeah. glass it's beautiful and have something that maybe a little step up from what you would normally purchase so we're gonna bring that to a boil and we're gonna let the cranberries pop and then mm -hmm. we're gonna bring it down a little bit and we're gonna let it simmer down to uh, so it thickens up to make that chill it 24 hours and then it's gonna come out like looking like a cranberry sauce. Yeah. But except it's got so many So right. much right. more flavor, right. yeah. Right, and a little zip to it, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and then wow. we're gonna take the, then the, burrata. the burrata. We're gonna sit it right on top. We're gonna garnish it with some beautiful greens. Mm. Of course, Christmas all day. <laughs> so good, right? I know, it nice? looks like Christmas on a plate. And that's a simple little dish that. that you could do as a salad course. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on the holiday or uh, yeah. whatever party you're going to have. Just have a knife, smear it on something, and yeah. enjoy. That yep. looks beautiful. All right, three down, one to go. We'll have more when we come back. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen with our favorites, Joe and John are here. We could not be happier to spend this this uh, this day with these yeah. guys. They've been cooking up a storm. Oh. What you going to make for us now? And there's more. We're going to make, there's there's more. There's make more. your there's final more. entree, which is a pasta dish, which is a, a, a dish that goes back many years, um, traditional to my old Camille's days. Mm -hmm. uh, and mine. And, oh, and yeah. Joe's. Yeah. That goes back a long time. They have lots of stories. Right. <laughs> so it's 40 it's years now. <laughs> They were famous for a pink aliole in its day, mm -hmm. and a lot of people would add shrimp to it, which was a, is a perfect thing for Christmas Eve or uh, even Christmas Day, I mean, you know? So basically what you want to do is you want to start out with some extra virgin olive oil, mm -hmm. and we like to slice the garlic. Mm -hmm. I love garlic. Mm -hmm. And that's a signature in a dish like that, really, it's like a really garlicky pasta, right? right? But, but the garlic, because it's sliced like this, is going to give you a little different flavor. Okay. 
You're going to add some shrimp right in there because the garlic and the shrimp are going to cook around the same time. And it won't take too long now. Keep uh -huh. that in mind when you put It'll shrimp. It'll all come together pretty quick. Did you slice that shrimp kind of thin? Too? Yeah, what I did was I took a large shrimp and I cut it down the middle. Yeah. Um, so that'll go even right. faster. So you go further than butterflying it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's already a, changing you'll color see, on you'll, us. You'll see oh, it yeah. all come together. Very nice. All right. We're going to zip it up with a little hot pepper seed. We're going to throw some black olives in there, too. Excellent. Oh. Right? When you see a traditional, oh, you, you always have that. Uh, well, of course, it's garlic and oil, but yes. then the black olives and the alige, mm. Michaela, right. the alige. Will, right. you'll like the alige. Oh, I like that Will's snacking yeah. on the olives. I'm snacking on the olives. No, the right alige or the anchovies. The anchovies. Ah. You know, we know how much you like that. Yeah. Bite that yeah. bite. Okay. So, in the interest of time, mm -hmm. we would want this garlic to get a little bit golden. Yes. Okay? So let's just imagine that that's golden. The shrimp is pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is going to be a second anyway. Yes. Yeah. Moving along pretty quick. Right. I like to kill it with a little chicken stock. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. <laughs> That'll stop the cooking of the garlic. Okay. Now the addition of some fresh tomato sauce, which is basically just the tomato basil sauce. Okay. Wow, that looks good. Now here's where we go. I'm going to put some fresh parsley in there. Man, it smells good in here. Salt, mm -hmm. pepper. pepper. Joe, you can drop that right in the water. Drop it like it's hot, Joe. Right, drop it like it's hot, Joe. I'm going to put about two <laughs> tablespoons of heavy cream. <laughs> Look at me. You don't think I'm versatile. The talent. You are talented. And then some pecorino romano. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, hey. All right, good. so we're going to let that go. We're going to let that cook for a little while. And, Just Joe, I know you mentioned Prosecco, good with anything, good yep. anytime, I, in my I, opinion. Yeah, I gave you the beautiful Sonoma Coutrea, which also goes with this. Mm -hmm. But one of the hottest trends in the world today for red wine, a whiskey barrel-aged reds. Yeah. And uh, Robert Mondavi is not certainly the only vintner mm -hmm. who makes them, but he's one that I like. These wines are in the $13, $14 range. Okay. Perfect. And by aging them in bourbon barrels, it gives it, it adds such an additional flavor portfolio. Mm. It is absolutely incredible. Fills your mouth. Nice you got a you got a pasta dish like this, which has got all that going on, as you see yeah. the chef put together. This would be a beautiful compliment for it. And this is nice too. I like that you bring us one of each because you when you get together for a holiday, some some like red, some like white, some it depending on what you're eating. It's absolutely and it's it's the way that that works. And mm. and you know I see he's almost done with this and I do want to say one thing to my friends. You're the hardest working man in show. We business. don't get around here as much much as we used to. Don't John and I, much anymore. We want to wish you and yours a very safe, happy, healthy holiday season and Merry yes. Christmas. Right. Now, this is the end of my 16th season with TV Major D. Wow. And on January 26th, okay, on January 26th, we'll premiere season 17. And that is also our 200th edition. Wow. Oh my and gosh. How, my, how my partner and cameraman, Armand D. Luis, and I have come to this point, I'll never know, but I am happy <laughs> we did. And then on wow. Super Bowl Sunday on the CW Providence, it'll be our fifth season premiere of Fresh and Local. And I don't know hey. how we've gotten that wow. show to where it is, too. That, so if we couldn't do already? it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and we couldn't do it without you. You, wow. you are a fabulous audience. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, we share audiences, and I'm we telling you, I'm happy. You know what? It's a great show. It's it's a great show, especially if you are looking on a Friday mm -hmm. night and you're like, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? You can say, you know what? That show that was on, on Joe's show is a yeah. great place to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I appreciate wow. that. Look at this All right, now. so we're finishing this up, putting those final touches. See, so happy to see you. Everything crazy. came together. Guys, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you so too. much for and coming in. Miss to everyone. Right. Yes, absolutely. To all of our families and our Roadshow family, the That's guys right. are definitely part of it. If you want any of these recipes, you can go to roadshow.com.